Hello, that's Veronica from e Tours Russia and today is a very, very special release. I'm, I'm glad to introduce you to the artworks of the famous Russian and Georgian master Zurab Tsariteli. While traveling in Moscow, I'm sure you've seen some of his works, for example, the statue devoted to Peter the Great on the river of Moscow, as well as the sculptural complex in Victory Park. Some of those who never seen to Moscow could see them abroad in uh, such cities as Paris, New York, Geneva, Seville, and so on. The Russian Academy of Arts, as well as the main gallery of Zurab Tsereteli, are both located on Prichistinskaya Street in Moscow. It's not far away from the city center. And among with the recreation of the buildings of Russian Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg and opening of the Modern Art Museum, the first one to be opened in Moscow, Zurab Tsereteli decided to open the gallery of his works here. The workshop and the gallery is a kind of more art space. The gallery on Prichistinska Street is a permanent exhibition of sculptures, paintings and enamel panels. The art of the master is quite diverse and we are standing in the hall with the paintings devoted to a very famous artist living in the 20th century, Charlie Chaplin. The thing is that, that Zurab Tsereteli spent his childhood in Tbilisi and with his grandmother he would attend all of these cinemas and he would attend circuses as they were the only one entertainment in the city. So he would remember all of the movies with Charlie Chaplin and decided to represent him being in the so it's a kind of a fairy tale which was the kind of a memory of Zurab Tsereteli himself from the childhood. So you can see a Chaplin walking on the streets and enjoying the culture of Georgia. There is a quite exquisite place in the gallery here, just right here, we're in the room where Zurab Tsiriteri himself gives different workshops to his students and most of them are kids. And until nowadays he believes that every single one has a special individualistic art manner and even the master shouldn't try to affect it. Inside the gallery, which is located on Prichistinska Street, there is the atrium, which is under the glass cupola. And here inside the atrium, we have different sculptures made of bronze. The most interesting one is just behind me. It's in the shape of apple, and it's called as the Adam's apple, a symbol of original scene from the Bible. The surface of the apple is with different reliefs representing the first people, Adam and Eve, falling into the scene. As soon as you will enter to the atrium, which is located in the gallery, you may find that all of the walls are decorated with reliefs representing different scenes from the Old Testament and New Testament, from the story of Adam and Eve until the story of Jesus Christ. And the idea of the whole is the knowledge of the sin and the goodness. And that is why we have in the middle of the whole this apple as a symbol of original sin. In 
Russian history buffs will easily recognize the faces of two most famous Russian emperors living in the 19th century, Alexander I, who was the hero of the War of 1812, and Alexander II, who liberated peasants in the year 1861. The majority part of the works made by Zorab Tsereteli are devoted to the Russian history and the history of Russian rulers. Here in the atrium you may find a statue devoted to a very famous Russian emperor Peter the Great. It's just behind me with a, holding the manifesto of a foundation of St. Petersburg, the second capital of Russian Federation as we say. And while you're traveling in Moscow, of course, on the Moscow River you may find another statue devoted to Peter the Great and Russian Navy. It's quite remarkable and it's also made by the hands of Zorab Tsereteli. The 18th century in Russian history brought first women to the throne of the Russian Empire. And of course, Zorab Tsereteli decided to represent uh, all of the female empresses. Uh, within them, of course, the very famous Catherine the Great. The age of Catherine the Great is known as the golden age of Russian history, as she spoke five languages fluently. She was the creator of different reforms, and the age of her was full of different victories in the battles and the wars.